Yoshihito Nishioka, the Japanese tennis player, has been diligently focusing on improving his upper body strength with particular emphasis on his arm and forearm muscles. This deliberate approach to his training regimen stems from recognizing the crucial role that forearm muscles play in enhancing his performance on the tennis court. By strengthening these muscles, Nishioka aims to enhance his, the grip strength, racket control, and force absorption, all which are integral to his success as a professional tennis player. One of the primary reasons Nishioka places a great importance on strengthening his forearm muscles is the, the direct link they have to, uh, to the hand and fingers. The forearm muscles which includes the flexors and extensors play a vital role in controlling the movement of the hand and fingers. Such as having strong forearms, muscles improves dexterity and coordination, enabling Nishioka to execute precise shots with greater control and finesse. So the great strength is a key factor in tennis, and Nishioka understands that a powerful grip provides with him with a competitive advantage. The forearm muscles are responsible for generating and maintaining grip strength, allowing him to firmly hold the racket during intense rallies. With a strong grip, Nishoka can better control the direction and power of his shots and making him a formidable opponent on the tennis court. Racket control is another aspect of the Nishoka game that is heavily influenced by the forearm strength. Precise control of the racket enables him to manipulate the ball's trajectory, spin, and space. By strengthening his forearm muscles, Nishioka can achieve a greater degree of strong of control, allowing him to execute a wider variety of shots and respond effectively to different game situations. This improved racket control enhances overall versatility as a player and increases in, in his chances to outmastering his opponent. Pal, are you there? Let's break down Nishioka's forehand technique. Breaking down uh, its key components and exploring how a, he hones his skills through dedicated practice. Forehand technique. The grip. Nishoka employs a semi-western grip, which allows him to generate both power and top speed on his forehand shots. This grip enables him to strike the ball with a closed racket face, producing a heavy top speed that allows the ball to bounce high and deep, making it challenging for his opponent to hand. Preparation. The shortest forehand preparation is a crucial in, in short execution. He initiates his stroke by taking a compact backswing, uh, positioning the racket par parallel to the ground. This abbreviated backswing allows him to generate racket head speed, quickly giving him more time to react to fast paced shots. The next thing is the footwork and balance. In shortcut footwork is exemplary as he, he has quick small steps to get into an optional position of his forehand. He maintains a low center of gravity, which, enab which enhances his balance and stability during the stroke. This technique enables him to adjust to virus ball placement and maintain excellent court coverage. Both, uh, the next thing is the swing path and contact point. As the ball approaches, Nishoka employs a smooth and fluid swing path. He generates power by using his whole body, transferring weight from the back foot to the front foot during the stroke. This contact point is slightly in front of his body, allowing him to strike the ball at the optimal height for a clean shot. Timing and timing variation. Nishoka has exceptional timing, enabling him to hit the ball at the peak of its bounce consistently. His ability to adjust his timing according to the ball's speed and trajectory adds an element of unpredictability to his forehand. By occasionally taking the ball early or late, he keeps his opponent guessing and disrupt their rhythm. Let's talk about his practice technique. If you see, so he mainly focuses on ground stroke drills. Nishioka focus on repetitive grass stroke drills to, uh, so to refine his forehand technique. This drills involves hitting the uh, cross court 
and down the line shots to various stages of the of the court on the court sorry by practicing these drills with different the ball speed and uh, intensities he developed consistency and accuracy and short placement the next thing he focuses is reaction and footwork exercise to enhance his footwork reaction time nishioka incorporates drills that involves rapid change of, of direction and quick recovery steps this exercise that often uh, uh, include ladder drills cone drills and reaction ball exercise which we'll talk more about in the near in the near uh, part of the video sorry so by focusing on training his footwork he gains the ability of positioning himself optimal to his forehand strokes the next thing you should need to focus is also live ball live ball practice in shock engages in live ball practice sessions where he plays points or sets against the hitting partner or other players as you can see now this type of practice allows him to simulate another situation to apply his forehand technique even under pressure it allows help it also helps him to develop a tactical awareness and decision making skills when choosing between defensive and offensive shots lastly he properly uses a video analysis so it is in so in that little speculation i'm talking um emphasis is now i can say nishoka utilizes video analysis to study his forehand technique in details by reviewing his practice sessions and matches he can identify any tactical flaw faults or errors of improvement this analysis will help him to refine his stroke mechanics adjust his footwork and make necessary correction to optimize his forehand performance yoshihito nishioka self is a crucial aspect of the his game that sets that set him apart on tennis court standing at 75 nishioka compensates for his lack of height with exceptional speed and accuracy so his surfing technique focuses on generating maximum power and placement allowing him to dedicate play from the start nishioka self features a compact motion with smooth ball toss enabling him to maintain a control and disguise his initiative in his in his intentions he possesses a consistent fast serve often hitting with impressive precision to the corners of of the service box now let's delve into the reason why nishoka has embraced golf and explore the ways in which this seemingly unrelated sport has positively impact his tennis career the first thing why it provides a mental focus and concentration golf much like tennis requires an unwavering mental focus and concentration the meticulous nature of the golf demands precise calculation on and uh, variables such as distance wind and terrain by engaging in golf nishoka can develop his mental acuity honing his ability to make a split second decision under pre- pressure this enhanced mental skills can directly translate into tennis game enable him to main, remain composed during tense rallies and make better strategic choice on the tennis court the second thing is hand eye coordination both golf and tennis demands exceptional hand eye coordination while these two sports differ in terms of motion and equipment the fundamental skills of tracking a motion uh, movement moving object remains uh, crucial in both disciplines nishoka pursuit of golf can seemingly significantly enhance his hand eye coordination allowing him to better judge the trajectory and speed of the ball leading to improved timing and short accuracy in tennis the next thing is adaptability adaptability and versatility golf courses features uh, diverse landscape and the obstacle that players must navigate successfully this varying challenge for, for forces golfers to adapt their swing footwork and overall game plan accordingly the adaptability the adaptability and versatility honed through golf can be valuable in tennis players like nishok he can develop a great sense of adaptability in different court surfaces whether conditioning and conditions are and opponents playing styles enabling him to adjust his tactics and optimize his performance on the tennis court the last two things are physical conditioning and stress relief and mental well-being Nishioka's footwork drills focus on agility, speed, and balance. One of his preferred exercises involves a partner 
rapidly tossing his tennis balls at various angles while he moves swiftly to return them. This drill improves his ability to react quickly and reach difficult shots with the precision. Another drill Nishoka employs is the shadow hitting technique where he mimics shots without an actual ball. This drill sharpens his footwork and enables him to anticipate his opponent's movement effectively. By integrating, integrating this and conventional footwork drills, Nishoka can gain, has gained an exceptional court coverage and enhances his overall game. His agility and lightning fast movement have become trademark on his style, allowing him to retrieve similarly and rich shots. These drills have undoubtedly contributed to Nishoka's success in the professional circuit, making him a formidable opponent for any tennis player. Firstly, observe Nishoka grip on the backhand. He employs a semi-western grip, allowing him to generate top spin and control. Practice replicating this grip and ensures that your hand is relaxed yet firm on the racket handle. Next, focus on the footwork. Nishoka possesses a trend Remarkable speed and agility, which, al which allows him to get into an optimal position of his, for of his, of his backhand. So develop a quick and efficient footwork, emphasizing on explosive lateral movement and uh, the ability to recover quickly. Nishoka's backhand technique is characterized by a smooth and compact swing. Practice maintaining a relaxed yet firm wrist, using, his, using it as a hinge to generate power and control. Focus on keeping the racket head slightly above the wrist during the backswing and rotating the shoulders and hips to generate tuck. One, one of the Nishoka's strength is ability to retardict the ball with precision. Work on timing and rhythm to ensure that your swing is smooth and connected. Practice hitting the balls with different depth, speed, and aiming for consistent depth and accuracy. Additionally, Mental focus is a crucial master of Nishoka's technique. Develop a strong mindset, staying composed and focused even in high-pressure situations. Train your mind to anticipate the ball's tra trajectory and make specific decisions on even, even, even short deselection.